Recently on the 70 meter high roof of Hashji over in Eindhoven, unique power nest modules were installed combining wind turbines and solar panels. This innovative solution allows for up to 10 times more energy generation compared to standard solar modules. The hybrid system consists of wind turbines with a tilted rotor axis and a canopy made of two-sided solar panels. Special fines on the sides of the structure direct the wind directly into the turbine, increasing the airflow by 40 to 60%. Additionally, the use of two-sided solar panels enables the collection of both direct sunlight and light reflected from the building's roof. The panels are cooled by the same airflow directed into the turbine. To install the system, a flat roof with an area of at least 50 square meters is required. The first vertical turbine of the new LS Helix 3.0 series was recently installed and commissioned in Ingolstadt, Germany. The installation took only three and a half hours for the specialists. According to the manufacturer, this new model has significantly higher power and efficiency compared to its predecessors. Moreover, due to its special design, the turbine operates almost silently and without vibrations. This feature allows wind turbines to be mounted on residential building rooftops without causing discomfort to the people inside. Among other advantages, the turbine is highly resistant to tropical storms and typhoons, can be installed in any location, and can be directly connected to stationary electrical grids. The primary mission of the manufacturing company is to make decentralized energy supply as accessible as possible to people around the world. The unusual catamaran A2V Monaco 1 was designed and built by the company Advanced Aerodynamic Vessels from La Rochelle. The secret behind the performance of the 35-foot catamaran A2V Monaco 1 lies in the wing-like shape of its central cross-deck section. Imagine a boat resembling a Boeing wing. When air flows through the tunnel between the hulls, the lower part creates lift. The faster you go, the easier the boat moves on the water. The catamaran is powered by two 350-horsepower Yanmar turbo diesel engines. Its cruising speed is 90 km per hour, reaching a top speed of 110 km per hour. To make super yacht owners feel at home, the A2V Salon features large and comfortable leather seats with leather antique finishes. The full-width windshield provides a panoramic view during relaxation. Trombia Free is the world's first fully autonomous sweeping machine developed by the Finnish road equipment manufacturer, Trombia Technologies. The device consumes only 15% of the energy that conventional brush vacuum cleaners require. Despite this, the machine's power and performance are not inferior to its classical analogs. Depending on the battery capacity, the robot can work continuously for 7.5 to 17 hours. Trombia Free can operate in any weather conditions and swiftly respond to obstacles in its path, be it a person, animal, or other objects. This autonomous electric sweeping machine operates almost silently, allowing streets to be cleaned at night without disturbing the city residents' sleep. The JFD Seal Carrier is a special operations group transport vehicle capable of operating both on the surface and underwater. It can accommodate up to eight people and includes additional compartments for carrying equipment, gear, and supplies. In surface mode, the vehicle is powered by a diesel engine coupled with a water jet, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 30 knots. When submerged, two electric motors, powered by lithium polymer batteries, enable the vessel to move silently underwater. The batteries are charged by generator, which draws energy from the diesel engine when the boat is operating on the surface. The SEAL carrier has an underwater range of up to 28 kilometers and can cover up to 555 kilometers on a single surface charge. Warehouse logistics reaches a new level with the FOLA unmanned forklift by iPlus Mobot. This robot is equipped with 3D perception technology, allowing it to handle cargo movement and storage operations without human intervention. The forklift can autonomously detect and navigate around obstacles in its path, as well as stack pallets on racks. Additionally, through integration with the warehouse planning system, the robot independently selects the optimal route for different scenarios. The machine can lift loads weighing up to 1,400 kilograms to a height of 1.6 meters. The robot also provides real-time environmental monitoring, dynamic work environment, and narrow path transportation. NASA has completed testing of a rock climbing robot named Lemur, which is set to explore the red planet. 
Using its spiked hands, Lemur successfully ascended one of the U.S. mountains and discovered fossilized remains of ancient algae. The robot has four limbs, each equipped with 16 fingers featuring hundreds of tiny hooks that grip onto rock irregularities. When the contact surface touches the rock and starts to compress the fingers, these hooks at various angles grab onto the tiniest protrusions, securely anchoring the limb. Following its route, the robot uses a suite of tools to scan the rock for ancient fossils. This ability to search for ancient artifacts will be invaluable on planets like Mars, where sedimentary deposits in ancient riverbeds might contain evidence of past life. Initially designed as a repair robot for the International Space Station, Lemur's original project has been closed. Nevertheless, the program has led to the development of a new generation of walking and crawling robots, which could prove extremely useful in exploring the Red Planet. Pittsburgh-based company Heavy Robotics has developed a unique robot named Treddy, capable of navigating through challenging terrains and diving to depths of up to one meter. The robot consists of a central rectangular body with four controllable moving legs, each equipped with a rubber tread at its end. While moving on a flat surface, the robot's treads remain in a horizontal position. If it encounters an obstacle, such as a fallen log or a large rock, it raises its front limbs to clear the barrier and continues moving. Additionally, thanks to its waterproof design, the robot can operate underwater for up to half an hour. Its built-in battery provides two to three hours of operation. Treddy can be equipped with various tools and is designed for search and rescue missions, industrial inspections, and other operations in hard-to-reach places. Powered by Hibby's modular robotics platform, Treddy can be customized into different configurations and easily integrated with other heavy kits, including arms with grippers, cameras, and third-party sensors. The South Korean company Hankook has introduced the Wheelbot, a wheel platform with 360-degree rotating tires, which has the potential to revolutionize the future of vehicle mobility. Thanks to these wheels, the robot can move in any direction, challenging the conventional rules of parking. In the future, drivers who find parallel parking a difficult task could simply stop their cars and slide into limited spaces sideways. In other words, having such wheels means no more frantic steering to find the optimal angle for parking. According to the manufacturer, the wheel robot can move not only on roads, but also inside buildings or any other location. In addition, the company is working on developing a transport capsule that can be used as a daily commuting vehicle to work. Which of these technologies shown in this video did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.